Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's learn about the histology of the thyroid gland. The thyroid is a bilobed gland. Each lobe is situated either side of the trachea. The two lobes of the thyroid gland are connected to each other by isthmus. This is a lobe of a gland and this is another lobe. So this is the isthmus. So thyroid is the unique endocrine gland. It is unique because it stores large quantity of its hormonal secretion in the form of colloid. Now coming to the proper histology of thyroid. The thyroid gland is made up of follicles lined by the cuboidal epithelium. So these are the follicles lined by cuboidal epithelium. This is the basement membrane and these are the cuboidal cells. The nucleus of the cuboidal cells is round in shape. Each follicle is filled with a homogeneous colloid or a proteinaceous material that composes the hormones. And this colloid is produced by these epithelial cells. The parafollicular cells are present in relation to the follicles and also are present as groups in the connective tissue. So these are the parafollicular cells. In the intervals between the follicles, there is some connective tissue. So this is the connective tissue. And you can note the blood vessels. These are the blood vessels. So this pink stained or the eosin stained is the colloidal material. Now coming to the structure of the thyroid gland. So coming to the structure. The thyroid gland is covered by a fibrous capsule. This capsule has some fibrous septa that divides the gland into lobules. The spaces between the follicles and the septas are filled by a stoma that is made up of the connective tissue with numerous capillaries and lymph vessels. Apart from the follicular cells, the thyroid gland contains C cells or the parafollicular cells. So these are also called as C cells. Depending upon the appearance of these follicles, it has the different level of activity. Imagine this as a follicle. If the cells are like this, these cells are highly active. If the follicles and the epithelioid cells are like this, then this follicle is moderately active. If the follicle look like this, this follicle is inactive. So the inactive follicle has the more colloid. When inactive, the cells are squamous or flat in shape. So it has flat or squamous. These follicular cells secrete two hormones. The first hormone is the T3 or triiodothyronine. Triido. The second is the T4 or tetraiodothyronine or tetra iodothyronine these hormones influence the rate of metabolism these are the follicular cells now coming to the parafollicular cells or the c cells also called as c cells 
they are also called as clear cells they are also called as clear or light cells they are polyhedral with oval eccentric nuclei and the parafollicular cells or the c cells they produce the hormone thyrocalcitonin this hormone has the action that is opposite to the parathyroid hormone on the calcium metabolism so guys this is all about the histology of the thyroid gland if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and you can suggest the topics on which i can make the videos